Greetings and welcome back to Panzer Models Pink Dating Simulator where we're having a crisis in the newspaper club. Apparently, we have sold three flyers, three copies, outside of two more copies for the teachers, their newspaper lounge, and clearly, this is a problem. And we're all about to be shot to death by Tokarev. Eh, welcome back to the slaughter. Or will it? We're about to find out now. <clears throat> Comrade, ask me a Tokarev. I'll save everyone the trouble. Suddenly, another tank rushes into the room. She's trained to speak, but is short on breath. Sacre bleu! Bostos! Bostos! You. Uh, ah! <sighs> Ruin it! Ruin what, comrade? My story! Don't we ruin anything. We just did some fact checking. Well, that could ruin a lot of things. <laughs> I can ruin a lot of things. Fact checking! How is this fact checking? She stops copy of the paper on the desk. She picks it up and scans down the page quickly. I don't see any errors. The other girl snatches the paper back quickly and points it out the first headline. A hem, heroic defender of the motherlands, holds off an entire German armored division with only bayonet and flag. And here, Zeit magazine poll. Putin voted best religious leader of the last 3,000 years. What is that? And, and 136% of Crimeans agree you create a failed state session these answer. Oh my gosh. The propaganda is real, people. It's there. Wow. The propaganda in this film is real. <laughs> the visual novel. Da, I made the book myself. Of course. Of course you did. Exactly. You just can't print things you make up. Why not? Why not? Because it's not true. Why let the facts get in the way of a good story? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Da, I was agree with a smaller Russian tank. Paper is called Pravada. Pravda. This means truth. Whatever we print is officially sanctioned party line. Sacre bleu, you are unacceptable. <clears throat> they all turn to look at you. I don't mean to barge in, but I was wondering if you uh, needed help with this paper. Blast, help? So we mother not need no help from American capital. Comrade, we sold three copies last month. I believe we can use all the help we can get. Nobody is listening. We're not going to sell a single paper if you Russian pigs keep making up whatever suits you. I hate to agree with the French on something. Dang! <laughs> but she's right. You just can't make things up and call it a fact. Yet, it's not making those things up. It's only in reinterpreting the truth. <laughs> oh, wow. Either way, maybe try something besides historical pieces for this issue. What else is there to write about except the good old days? Ah, uh, when we were just slaughtering the Germans on the front lines. When we were killing our people over the, in Ukraine, um, everywhere else. Um, yeah, and also those were the beautiful days. Do an interview, an op ed, anything besides history. Hmm, die like. Do the more, get him a camera, and a party member card. It's going to be great. I put that party card, it gives me a lot of drinks, a lot of vodka. Um, hopefully I get out of jail. Pass. We'll see. Uh, I'll just go with the camera for now. Smart move. <laughs> just follow me, Erwin. I'll do the writing, and you take the pictures. Sure, right. Sounds like a put posh job here. You and Charby One leave the newspaper club and head into the hallway. They're just, just impossible, you know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they certainly are a handful. I'm glad you understand. Anyway, 
I don't think I've been fully introduced myself yet. No, I haven't seen you before, girl. I'm Charles de Batali, one from Boulogne, France. Charles de Batali, Baloney? Uh, you Americans butcher our beautiful language with your English tongues. I don't consider French beautiful. Hey, at least we pronounce the letters and. <laughs> at least we pronounce the letters we put into our words. <laughs> Sacre bleu. I'll let that one go for now. Let's get this assignment done first. Then we can discuss your uncivilized language further. It's a date. I shall hold you to it, American. She smiles back. Anyway, we should probably find someone to do a story on. Do you have any ideas? Ah, uh, damn, I'm not sure. Ha! That's it! What? I shall interview the Marshal G. Logis Chief. The Gunny. Please don't say you mean the Gunny. But of course, we shall interview him today. Let's go! Oh no, fine, let's get it over with. Yeah, I can't imagine getting anything out of him, really. You try one hits head stroll, head stroll down the hallway towards the classroom. You knock on the door lightly and step inside. <clears throat> er, sir, I was wondering if I could. Goddamn, I can I have it. One sergeant. Oh, modern shot be one. Comet, what? Comet, allez vous à Jordi? Est-ce que les la mer de Boston est des NOS? Wait, what the fuck? Recruit, no swear for the lady. But why are you speaking in French? For the love of recruit, don't you know the first thing about romance? Well, clearly not, because I. Take off my girlfriend, or at least a potential girlfriend. Chapter one giggles to herself. No, 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 more Chardin. He, I, can we just get an interview for the paper? You want to put me in the paper? Here, oi. Bobby. Bobby, then. <clears throat> Darn. If you want to mug the paper, well, why not? When's it going to print? This week, I think. Well, might just have to pick myself up a copy. Well, Sergeant, could you answer a few questions for me? Go ahead. All right, we'll just start. Can I get your full name and rank? Get away, Sergeant. Major Arlie Hartman. <sighs> the references are real. Real references. <laughs> what sort of rank is Gary Sergeant, Major? What a lover. Recruit. Have you ever heard of a first name? What sort of name is Major? And what was your job in the military before you became a drill instructor? I was a 6969 Space Shuttle Door Gunner. Well, that sort of job? Why'd you become a drill sergeant? Uh, see, recruit. Submarines. The amount of. Uh, uh, for what? We hear good for some rains we're out of <coughs> for sodomy. What? That the military is to us takes its toll in a different way. I get the gist of it if you take out a few things that don't really even belong in the first place. <laughs> Oh, wow. Did it return? The anger was up inside of us, to the point where we forget where we come from. We wish for nothing more than to spread this malice and hate to the next generation of boots. <laughs> and so, a uh, drill instructor is born. <laughs> oh, oh, the references are real. <laughs> right, Sergeant. And what's your biggest pet peeve? And boots put their goddamn darn hands in their darn pockets. Well, I've met for hands in their pockets. Recruit! Do you know why Hitler lost the war? Oh. I. Everyone?
pens and paper, everyone. He's about to give the answer to question 42. Why did Hitler lose the war? What is your answer? Write it down. Because the Russians were able to outproduce the German industrial capacity. No recruit. Because he let the SS put their hands in their pockets. Yeah, exactly. Do you think we can just take a photo and get going? Click, goes the camera. All right, let's get going, Char. Uh, I would do one such hands. So this room. You just have to leave, too. Recruit. Yes, Sergeant. If you ever want to get inside of a tank, it would behoove you to unfuck yourself. Want to get out there for a while, Sergeant? Yes, recruit. Yes, I did. The rest of the day goes by quickly, and you just fast asleep at night. Two good nights. Oh, two good nights. <clears throat> well, it's not the deal with any clubs today. Heck, I could probably take a whole day up. Nobody wouldn't even notice. Well, until Sarge kicks me in my door, yeah. Guess I can survive a few hours of classes. Get out of bed and make my way to school. Everyone. <clears throat> Let me ask you a favor. Oh, Vice Pres. Yeah, sure. Well, it's about the Occult Studies Club. Burn them with fire? Right? Well, if it's just. Can you make sure they're not doing anything satanic? Great. Satanic. <clears throat> I don't have to have. To, I don't want to have to hold another weekend safety briefing if they summon the Eldar gods or something again. What? Yeah, no problem. I'll go check on them. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for shoving things off to me, China. <clears throat> you head across the school grounds to the Cold Studies Club Room. It's in one of the old unused classrooms. As you approach, a cold chill washes over you. Hello? Is anybody in there? Kommen Sie, kommen Sie zu uns, Ihr Gute des Stelges, Sie würden wir, dass wir dieses Mal schön. You knock on the door. You knock on the door. I'm booking it that way. I'm just going to book it that way, real fast, real quickly, just so you know. Um, I, I just. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. All right. I'm coming in. <clears throat> Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Once you open the door, you can barely see more than a few feet in front of you, and smoke wafts throughout the room. Yeah. On the back wall, you can see a large pentagram hastily drawn on the blackboard. Great. What? The hell? Alice oh, Smoke Cloud Patch 4 pops up in front of you. Okay, I sort of expected her to see. It said she was going to pop up in front of me, but the scratch and also this cheerful music. What the crap's with this game? Erwin! Ah! Patch 4! What the hell is this? Ah, I'm so glad you're here. You just made it. Just you made it just in time. Do you want to know what for? The blood sacrifice. What? If we make an offer to the old ones, they will grant us the money to go on this trip. <laughs> of course. Or maybe the weapons to win the war. They can be a fickle bunch. <clears throat> Remember when the vice president said, no spooky shit? This is the exact definition of spooky shit. Oh, come on. When was a little blood magic hurt anyone, Desu? No! No! The, the wording was going so well, and also just had to throw in this freaking Desu. Why do you know about the stuff? Just a little thing I picked up during the war. Oh, sh it's about time to be. Burned and sacrificed? What? What? Yeah, I'll take you. There's our comment. So this is going to be a good one. What? <clears throat> From the other part of the room, Miles steps forward. 
Okay, uh, hell no, I'm calling this off. But how do you expect us to get the money? It's not like we're a bunch of ju just... Just made the money, people. Either way, the vice president told me to make sure we weren't up to, well, is that what you're up to? Yeah, but no spooky shit. Hi, hi. All right, good. Then we can get this little thing between you and me. But, well, are we going to make money then? I don't know. Hold the bank cell or something. Both of their eyes light up and hands are four grins. I think we can do that, eh? Wait. See about tomorrow. I'll see about borrowing some kitchen equipment tomorrow. I don't like where this is going. And I'll make sure not burn them this this site. And I'll make sure not to burn them this site. I uh, please. And I'll and I'll go no. What? I was going to say to get the dough. No, no, you weren't. <clears throat> Don't be a spoiled sport, you desperate. Oh, pills. Where's my pills? This will work. Oh. oh, hope it takes effect fast. Oh, the trope's real. Can help me? All right, look. How about you two come to the store with me and we get the dough together? Shopping? We love shopping. Do you? Right, let's go. <clears throat> Germans. Why is it always Germans? You, the German tank girls, walk a few blocks to go to the store. Oh, oh, Ramuni! I love Ramuni! Ramuni? The, the little stuff? The soda with the marble in it. Yeah. Why would you eat a marble? You don't eat the marble, Moss John. What's the point of the marble? It's cute. Did I miss something? Nope. It's just Panzer 4 being Panzer 4. OMG! This little cat element is so cut my e. I mean, we already have myths back in school. We're just here for the ingredients. Cats scare me. Huh? Oh, here! Authentic Japanese show you soy sauce. Wow, Erwin, you're really smart. Compared to the dum dums in the room, yes, I am. I think. What are we here for again? Eggs, flour, chocolate chips, milk, olive oil, butter. Oh, squid! She runs off down the aisle. Squid. Why would squid scare you? Why? Wait up, don't leave! Uh, I can't keep up with her. It's okay, everyone. I can't even keep up with my infantry. <laughs> oh, 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 no! Oh! She gets a bit odd when she's around Japanese stuff. I mean, besides, she's pretty much everything you want to talk want for in a day. Wait. Irwin, stop. No. No. <clears throat> There's nothing else you could want. Moss? You know, I never did see service. <laughs> uh, my wording, my choice of wording, Irwin, you, you need to work on your wording. Uh, Please. Watch out for this one. Just, she seems to be a little okay, but she's a little on the woo-hoo side. I'm back. Did you miss me? 
Absolutely not. Please get your cousin to stop hitting on me. <laughs> Duh. Panzer IV, you always pick the shy ones, don't you? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it's not like... Eh. Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, what did you find? Just some milk, eggs, pokey, flour, sugar, wasabi, and a German clay on brush lap. What? I don't think you need for the big cell. So, brush lap's still on the plate? But no! Put back all the extra crap. But I'm hungry. Okay, are, are you hungry too, Mouse? What well, sounds good? I'm so hungry. I could die. I mean, it's just not worth the food. <laughs> Uh, so jealous, Miles. Anything you need, just go straight into your, your. Help me out here, everyone. What? Into her skirt? I'm not gonna say that. Oh. <clears throat> uh. Nice knowing you. I already made a lot of bad decisions in this game. <laughs> Mainly doing the game. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Right to your ammo racks. <laughs> Shoot, I'm freaking me in taste. <laughs> but I have a soul. <laughs> it's still effective, mostly. Oh, this conversation is. You know, as much as I love to keep hearing the discussion, I mean, I have a bake sale to run. <laughs> Food first, bake later. All right, what do you two feel like for food? I feel a little like Poland. No. Oh, mouse. Oh. Why did I choose this game? <laughs> oh no, why did I choose this game? Yes, Polandish sausage sounds good. It's so good right now. Oh, the innuendos. You guys are weird. <laughs> Please hit the dislike button for this Erwin, who's a piece of crap, idiot, who daily, he clearly should have understood what was going on just then, and clearly decided to, I don't even think he blew it off, I don't even think, I'm not even sure he understood it, I'm, I'm getting confused as to what he understands and knows, and what's he's just like, oh, screw it fast, anyway, uh, <clears throat> back, to, back to the story that we supposedly have, alright everyone, I'm sure he, you know why I've called you here? Oh, the audience have capitulated. No, it's the... A fan appeal has been approved. No, it doesn't make fit. Ah, you have the live music club. You have money to buy our first instrument. How are you a live music club if you don't have instruments? What were you doing? How did you put on a concert? What? Oh, you wasted this whole week, haven't you? No! Wait, did you go to the school? Who are you again? Um, 70p. What country are you from? Poland. Is that still a country? Sure, man. Yes! Of course, Poland is one of the oldest countries in Europe. That Poland is a small Soviet province. Oh, jeez. Poland cannot into relevant cannot it's irrelevant what that's awesome you can totally join my after school club then Bob simply Bob you're not helping and how do you know this Bob I don't recall seeing this Bob before Ahem. as I was saying I called you all here to announce the results of our fundraising drive hey, is everyone pulling together and working as a team we raised a grand total of $290,000 290,000 yen. <clears throat> so we're short. 10,000? I'm sorry, everyone. I know how hard you work. 
All right, there you lot. Sarge, you maggots are not spending the weekend here. I'm waiting all year for this trip, and recruit Lamar's inability to bounce a tank shell is not screwing us up for me now. Sorry, I don't think that's really the cause of the... God damn it, group. Let me finish. I decided to chaperone this trip. There's no matter I'm missing out of it. I think that... Oh, 600. Get your shit in gear and be there on time, tanks. Are you saying that you're paying for the... God damn it, group. I paid my much juice. Let's move along, then. Let's rest. the thing. So, um, I'm going to just cut it right off right there. I think that I've done the damage to my brain. To many other people's brain cells too. So, uh, I'm just going to cut it right there. And we'll go on a nice field trip to the hot springs next time. I don't have an outro.